Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have another showcast for you, and this time we are actually taking a look at Mew in the Open Ultra League. So we have three legendary Pokemon, well, one mythical Pokemon and two legendaries. We have Mew, we have Articuno, and we have Giratina. So the moveset on Mew that this trainer is going for is Shadow Claw, which I think is the standard fast move, and then Wild Charge and Surf. Uh, definitely a very common moveset, especially in the Great League, right? Uh, so really common. Uh, I think a lot of people, if they bring Mew into the Ultra League, especially the Open Ultra League, they tend to run Dark Pulse, but this is still a good moveset, so we'll have to see uh, how how he plays it out. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, we do see a beautiful shiny Articuno, and this whole team is shiny besides the Mew, by the way. So the Giratina is shiny as well, which is always cool to see. You love shiny flexing those, right? I certainly do. But, okay, Articuno is going to be hit with a Dark Pulse, able to take that, and going for the Icy Wind. So going for the Icy Wind, this will debuff the Alolan Muck. And, okay, so let's see, Muck, I think, farmed up extra energy. Articuno is going to go ahead and shield this one up. Going to be a Dark Pulse that probably, even after the debuff, would still KO Articuno. If not, the Snarls would get it. Uh, but anyway, Articuno farms down. Very beautiful farm coming in from Articuno. So out comes Swamp It. So that might have been a misclick clicking on Ancient Power, expecting a different Pokemon to come in over the Swamp It. So that's totally fine. It happens. So another Icy Wind coming out. So this Icy Wind will definitely de be debuffing that Swamp It. So that's good. Uh, in comes Mew. Mew has a Surf ready to go. So it's going to click on it immediately, trying to eliminate Swamp It from the game. But Swamp It does shield. Uh, going for the Hydro Cannon now, okay, this is going to be scary, so do you shield? No, Mew is not going to shield that, able to survive thanks to the debuff, uh, so going to go ahead and go for the Surf right now. So, okay, Swamp it, going to go ahead and shield, and Mew is going to go ahead and be able to get to another Surf, again, thanks to the debuff, obviously it would have been able to live it a lot better if it didn't. Uh, if it debuffed it twice, right? The Articuno debuffed it twice instead of going for the Ancient Power. But again, honest mistake. We all make them. Uh, so now it's a Giratina Mirror Match. Dragon Claw coming in from the opponent. And this Giratina going to be able to shield this one up. Going to be another Dragon Claw. So Dragon Claw coming through. Not able to connect. And okay, this Giratina farming up a little bit extra energy and throwing the Dragon Claw. Which should eliminate the opposing Giratina. As it does not, the opposing one does go down to the Articuno though, and in comes Swamp It going for the charge attack. Hydro Cannon will be able to get this Articuno, but the Giratina should be able to get that with Shadow Claw as it just did. So beautiful game, really well played. Uh, just a minor mistake, misclick, uh, expecting a different Pokemon to come in. Maybe it was just a misclick. You know, that's all, that's all that can be said about it. It happens to all of us. No need to, uh, I guess, dwell on it if if uh, I should say okay so we do have Mew versus Cresselia so if the Mew had Dark Pulse which if I was battling the Mew in Ultra League I think I would assume Dark Pulse so if I was in Cresselia I may want to shield the first one so we might see a shield from this Cresselia uh, we'll have to see Mew is definitely charging up a lot of energy going for a Surf again Cresselia can still take a Dark Pulse so it's it may not shield it does shield afraid of that Dark Pulse okay now going for the Wild Charge will it commit the second shield it could have thought the first one was a bait no second shield the Wild Charge really didn't do much Cresselia is an absolute tank so Mew shielding this Moon Blast up and now Mew is going to go ahead and get to a Wild Charge it does get to it so going for another one again uh, not going to be enough to take it out though, but it is still going to get a pretty low. Switching out into Articuno, able to pick up a move, so catching a move, but let's see what it is. Going to be that Moon Blast, still doing a good amount. Uh, going to be able to farm that Cresselia down though, which is really nice. In comes Swamp It, Shadow Swamp It, beautiful. So this Articuno is going to go for the Icy Wind. So Icy Wind coming through. Uh, okay, going to be able to debuff that. And now Swamp It is going to go ahead and go for the charge attack. This is going to be a Hydro Cannon, yep. And Hydro Cannon, not enough to KO. This Articuno going to be hit with another one. So Articuno going to take it. Uh, and uh, going to be... No, not able to take it. Okay, so in comes Giratina. So Giratina trying to farm down Swamp It, switches out into their own Articuno. Out comes Mew. Wild Charge is super effective. Going for the bait, going for the surf. Will Articuno shield? It didn't get a debuff off yet, so it might. Yes, beautiful shield bait coming in from the Articuno. So Mew is going to go ahead and opt to shield this attack. Going to be an Icy Wind. That Icy Wind, I don't... That Actually, that probably would have KO'd. But now the Wild Charge is not going to do as much damage. 
So, okay, this wild charge coming through. Still gonna chunk away, but not able to KO. Can he get to his surf? Oh no, he cannot, he got to it. He was going for the wild charge, but Giratina comes in with the shadow sneak, able to get it off. I believe this is enough to KO. Yeah, enough to KO, and then the Swamp It comes in. Giratina's gonna be able to farm. This is a beautiful game. I mean, even if it's an earthquake, it doesn't matter. It's not, but uh, it wouldn't matter anyway. Giratina takes that one. Beautiful game, really well played, and um, yeah, that was a great game. You love it, you love it, you love it, right? We're going to be able to get a second Mew. Like, if you already maxed out your Mew or powered it up, you'll be able to get one for the Great League. Or if you have one for the Great League but one for the Ultra League, you'll be able to get one in terms of the Shiny Mew. But the only thing is, uh, Shiny Mew is a paid event, and I know a lot of people don't like that, and I totally get it. So, I mean, I don't know if maybe some of you did not pay for it, but uh, I bought it, but... Nonetheless, um, Mew is going to hit the Charizard with Surf, so going to be doing a lot of damage. Char uh, yeah, Charge Attack coming through. Going to shield that nice bait on the opponent's end, but this Mew is going to be able to... Yeah, farm down before another Dragon Claw came out. Just before the Dragon Claw was able to come out. In comes Registeel. Okay, Surf coming through. Just going for back-to-back -back Surfs, I guess. I don't think you'll get a shield. Yeah, I mean, even if it was a Flame Charge, it wouldn't... It really, it would do okay damage, but it wouldn't like, it wouldn't take it out. It doesn't even do like 50%, so like I wouldn't shield the Reggie Steel. Um, although next thing you know, you're hit with an overheat. <laughs> it still wouldn't take it out, but it would do a lot more. Uh, so Mew goes for the wild charge, and that's the beautiful thing about Mew. You never know what move it has, right? I mean, you could, like, it, I guess, kind of like estimate what move you think it's going to have, but you never really know. So Dragon Claw is going to connect into the Meganium. And this Giratina is going to go ahead and go for another Dragon Claw. Uh, okay, so Dragon Claw connecting. Charge Attack coming through. Is it going to be a Frenzy Plant? No, probably not a bait. No, just going straight Earthquake. So this Giratina is farming up. Going for the Shadow Sneak. Okay, I think the, the move you want to go for is... Uh, Dragon Claw, but that is okay. Okay, going to pick up a shield from Meganium. Going to, oh, barely not able to get to that Dragon Claw. Going to shield this one up. Could be an Earthquake. Nope, it's a Frenzy Plant Bait. But that was a CMP tie, and this Dragon Claw is coming out from the Shiny Giratina. Okay, Meganium going to shield that. They both switch. Now, generally, this is not a good matchup for Articuno, and that still is correct. But Articuno is, well, it was healthy. Uh, one Icy Wind. I don't know if one Icy Wind is enough, though. Uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Uh, it looks like it's not. Can the Articuno farm down? It cannot. Flash Cannon is going to be able to KO this even after the debuff. Um, okay, but out comes Giratina to farm down the Registeel. And out comes Meganium. And it looks like Meganium does go for a charge attack. It was able to get to it. Is it going to be an Earthquake? No, going to be a Frenzy Plant. And then the Dragon Claw coming out. This Dragon Claw is going to KO, and that is going to be another great game. Well, I actually might want to uh, try out this team, to be honest with you. Once I get the Mew, and once I could power it up for the Ultra League, I actually might want, maybe in the next season, I might actually want to try out this team for the Ultra League. Uh, you know, I have the Otakuno, I have the Giratina, just need, just gotta wait on that shiny Mew, but I actually really like this team. Uh, so we do see Mew versus Giratina. Okay, this is where Dark Pulse would come in handy, right? Similar to the Cresselia match. So these bo both of these moves, Surf and Wild Charge, are actually resisted. So even though Shadow Claw is super effective, it's not going to do much. Now you could bait the Dark Pulse and go for a Surf. Uh, but it looks like he's just charging up a lot and then switching into Articuno. Giratina opting to stay in and throw an attack. Very interesting. I'm surprised we didn't see a switch. Charge uh, Shield coming out. And another charge attack from that Giratina, it did farm up a lot of energy. It is going to have Shadow Sneak, so no Ancient Power on that Giratina. Icy Wind coming out, and this Icy Wind is super effective. Again, I'm really surprised the opponent didn't uh, switch. Now they're switching into Gardevoir. Okay, I mean, I guess it depends what they have in the back. Going for the Ancient Power, you want to go for the Icy Wind because it's it's stab, it's more energy efficient. Well, okay, not if you get the boost. Uh, we, <laughs> but of course we didn't know that was going to happen. But that allowed him to get to another Icy Wind and able to go for the Icy Wind now. So that actually benefited him, so that was awesome to see. Or maybe not for the opponent, but Muck will faint that one. And in comes this Mew with its energy loaded going for a Wild Charge. Going to be super, super... 
well, not super effective, but doing a good amount of damage. Another wild charge coming out. This muck is going to survive and might be able to farm down. Maybe. Okay, switch comes in into Giratina. Oh, this is a bite. Oh, I just noticed that this is a bite muck. Okay, very interesting. Um, so, uh, okay, charge attack coming out. Going to be a dragon claw. This is going to uh, add up against the Giratina. Not enough to KO it, but another dragon claw coming out. And this is going to KO the Giratina. So that was a really well played game. Uh, actually, the opponent's just going to leave. So really great game. Really great game. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and jump into another one. So obviously we have that Mew. Uh, so we'll see what happens uh, in the next game. But okay, so here we go. It's Mew versus Cresselia. So again, threatening the Dark Pulse as we've seen. Um, honestly, I think if I was to run Mew in the Ultra League, I think I would have Dark Pulse on it. Uh, but, you know, I, what would I take out? What would I take out? Maybe Wild Charge? Because we don't really see any water types besides Swamp, but that's a ground type, I don't think. I mean, we do, like, it's, like, I guess Articuno, I guess, Wild Charge is good. I don't know, maybe the Surf. I'm not really sure. Maybe take out the Surf. I don't know, but either way, I do like the team composition, and I think it's really fun. So Articuno going to be hit with a Charge Attack. So that's going to be a foul play, totally fine. And Articuno is going to be able to get to an icy win against the Scrafty. By the way, it's very interesting to see Scrafty in the open Ultra League, but still cool nonetheless. And it looks like Scrafty is going to be able to take that lead. Uh, but in comes the Mew. Mew is going to go ahead and click on that Surf immediately. Will the Scrafty shield? It will shield. It does want to go for a foul play. It's going to definitely be able to get there. I mean, it's really resisting those Shadow Claws, so it does get to the foul play. Going to be foul play. Polly doesn't get to a second. Oh, going to bail into Cresselia. So Mew is going to go ahead and throw the Surf, hoping to um, convince the trainer that they have Dark Balls, but no, uh, I guess not. So Cresselia will go for the Charge Attack. So this Charge Attack is going to be Grass Knot. Totally fine. Uh, Mew is going to go ahead and charge up and go for Wild Charge, I think. Yep, going for that Wild Charge. So Wild Charge is obviously not going to KO, but uh, the damage adds up, although that really doesn't do that much. Yeah, I've said that earlier in this video. Uh, Cresselia is just such a tank, right? Grass not coming out, maybe caught that move on the Giratina. Beautiful switch then, okay. So now this Giratina is going for the Dragon Claw. It does not want to be hit with a Moon Blast because that does do over 50%. Cresselia switching out into Empoleon, okay, okay. I like it, so charge attack coming out, gonna be that shadow sneak. So that shadow sneak definitely adds up in damage. And this uh, Empoleon is gonna go ahead and go for the charge attack. Now, so he is going for the hydro cannon. And this Giratina is going to, okay, go for back to back. So it is charging up enough for two, so it does go for one shadow sneak. I like that play. So shadow sneak connecting. Able to go for it, but it does go for, yeah, going for the uh, Shadow Sneak. Okay, so this Shadow Sneak is going to be enough to KO. And in comes Cresselia, a charge attack coming out. Going to shield this one up, probably shield up, and then farm down. Going to be that Moon Blast. Will we see an attack drop? No. In comes, okay, it looks like Scrafty switched in, but it fainted. And then the Dragon Claw coming out. Going to be enough to KO that Cresselia. So another fantastic game. Wow. Awesome gameplay, man. Awesome gameplay. 